what's good pisces welcome back to my channel we are doing your december reading i've been reading all day and these readings have been so intense you guys so my voice is a little raspy right now from talking so mind don't mind that but let's get right into it let's see what's going on in your energy remember only take what resonates okay so let me get some oracle messages for pisces You might want to take, I don't hear, I'm hearing something about you might want to take something back. You're feeling like you want to take something back, something back that you said to someone or something that you allowed yourself to go through. Taking back your freedom. Something about connecting, making a different choice. We got the great diviner. So there's two sides to something here. We got the I love you letter. And then we have the peace card. And then we also have memory. There's something that you said or something that you're remembering or something that like you want to take your power back from. We got the freedom card. And then we also have the great diviner. So I do feel like there's like two, there's something weighing on you this month. There's something weighing on you this month. What is this? Something you want to make peace with. And I think this is with yourself. I don't think that you've been recognizing something about yourself. We got the six of wands in reverse at the bottom. So there's something you haven't been recognizing or like noticing or something about your energy. You're finally noticing and you're ready to reconcile it with yourself. Let's see what this is. King of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Why the King of Cups? Two of Pentacles. Oh. Five of Wands in reverse. I'm hearing you're ready to stop running. What are you running from? High Priestess, your intuition. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting something about waiting. Okay, there's a lot of waiting or you've been waiting, you've been doing things and going after things and trying new things and you've been waiting, you've been waiting to be noticed, you've been waiting to be chosen, waiting to be heard, waiting, 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 waiting. And I feel like it's come to a point now where you're like, look, I can't wait anymore. I can't wait on other people to show up. I can't wait on other people to support me. I can't wait on other people to, you know, put their stamp of approval on what I'm doing or who I'm becoming. And I do feel like it's a, it's some sort of like thing that you're forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to be dictated by what other people think. So this, I love you letter. It's like, you're looking at yourself and being like, look, well, if nobody got us I got us and it's like yeah you're looking you're making peace with yourself you could also be making peace with your body your looks you know there's some memories some core memories like childhood memories is what I'm hearing about like maybe like people have made you feel like you weren't good enough or said things about you that made you feel like you were not good enough or not pretty enough not handsome enough not 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 enough and you've carried that with you throughout the years and it's always been in the back of your mind, even if other people tell you that you're beautiful or that you're talented and capable, all this stuff. It's like there's part of you that kind of agrees with what, you know, those people in the past were telling you. But I feel like now you're starting to see like, you know, I because I'm hearing I got the magic. Like, I got it. I got it. I don't need to. I don't need to like wait on other people. Like, I can make peace with myself and I can do what I need to do. King of Cups here. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Five of Wands in reverse. And the High Priestess. Let's see. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? There's something that's slowing down for you. I think you're losing momentum with whatever you're doing or whatever you're pursuing just because you're realizing it's not for you anymore or there's some sort of like it's some sort of need that you had or feelings that you had to keep up like keep up with the Joneses is what I'm hearing or keep up appearances about like 
yourself about you're doing okay or your mental health or whatever it is it just seems like you it's like you no longer want to work on those things or you're just kind of like I can't do it anymore like I can't force myself to move forward in this direction because I'm losing my strength here with the strength card so yeah two of pinnacles here you're, you're trying to go between what you feel like you should do and what in your mind you know you want to do so five of wands in reverse you just don't want any more conflict in your life and it, you feel like you you're recognizing you've been the only one creating this conflict by not listening to your um intuition with the high priestess not really focused on your on your internal yeah emperor in reverse let's see what this is you could be listening, you, okay, for some of you guys who are in a relationship, you could have been listening to your partner or something about authority figures. This could be authority figures or people who you view that may be in a different position than you or better than you or whatever this is. You may kind of like have taken what other people have said to heart. And so now you're learning to lean on yourself, Pisces, with the death and rebirth card. You are definitely something about like moving away from like all that in the past. And it could be a little like heartbreaking because, you know, when we realize that we're the only ones holding ourselves back, sometimes that is a hard pill to swallow. So <clears throat> why the strength card here? Why the strength card? Judgment in reverse, higher bent. Yeah, it seems like you're coming back to yourself. You're coming home to yourself. Yeah, you're coming home to yourself. And, you know, six of swords in reverse, you may not be 100% clear on, you know, what the meaning of this is or whatever you're feeling, but you, you do know that you're going to honor your, yourself through this with this queen of wands. You're going to honor yourself. You're going to choose yourself. You're going to stick up for yourself. I feel like you're waving a white flag with yourself and kind of like, look, we need to have a meeting because where we're heading down on our life, it's being dictated by something outside of us or, or someone outside of us. And like, I'm ready to get behind this chariot and pull it myself. That's what it seems like here. Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like for a long time you didn't speak up, Pisces. And it just kind of seems like you let other people kind of have like a hand over whatever it is that you're doing. So it's giving kind of like people pleasing. And so with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, you're stopping. And then you see the Ten of Cups is right here. So the fulfillment of feeling like you finally get to trust in your own decisions and make your own decisions. It seems like it's wrapping a cycle up here. So what else? Yeah. Even if you don't find that people are supporting you, you're still going to move forward, which this is amazing. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Nine of Swords again at the bottom. Yeah. So I do feel like you go back and forth. You go back and forth like, oh, like... Because you just don't know. It's the unknown. And when you've never like really stepped to the front of your life, it really kind of feels like you... Like you're kind of betraying people or letting other people down but listen this is for you because I feel like your magic and your love your care compassion was going towards other people or whatever other people were saying that sort of thing like it was being poured in a direction that did not need to be poured in three of pentacles yeah you were helping other people build things up while meanwhile all your ideas and everything that you felt that you could do was kind of like yeah, you were just not happy. You were not happy. And so now with this Eight of Swords in reverse, it's like, look, you've definitely like taken off. It's like you just cut cut ties from that old version of yourself. And so like you're learning something new about yourself. You're learning how to definitely put your put your attention towards something new and ground yourself in something new. And then it seems like you're very open to receive what is for you now. So I do feel like things are looking up for you. This seems to be like a, just a small adjustment, but you're no longer confused on what it is that you want now. All right. So let's see what else. Let's see what else. Anything career changes, anything love life changes. Wow. Three of swords here. <laughs> so this could be you ending things with someone too. Like, like I said, for those of you who have been in relationships or partnerships, even jobs that of where people were dictating how you were maneuvering, it kind of seems as if like now you are stepping in being the empress and kind of like, look, I got my own creative things. I can do what I want to do. I know I can. So it seems like you're going to start putting more effort into those things. Let's see. 
king of pentacles it seems to be like you're coming at a very masculine approach like a more action oriented so this seems to be very different for you pisces and people are not expecting this version of you to be more active to be more not caring about what other people say or do and it's you're still going to just do what you want to do with the queen of um cups here and the king of pentacles so it seems like you're just moving K king of wands at the bottom very action oriented like look get out of my way i'm going to do what it is i need to do because i've made peace with myself and i'm taking my power back so this seems like you're in control of your own freedom you freed yourself from something and someone here that could have been dictating the way that you were maneuvering through life let's see what else yeah they were thinking that because you were loyal or because you are a loyal person that they could just you know manipulate their way back in or buy you gifts and all the things but i feel like this is not working anymore yeah it's not working the deception the deception the the let me do this and let me do that and it'll be your time when we do this and when we hit this milestone then you could do this then you could do that it's like it's never going to come. You realize that was never going to come. And so with this Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse at the bottom, it's like, I have to do this on my own. So I feel like you're definitely really on this journey of finding yourself, split the deck, and we got the Four of Wands here. So stability within yourself. It's like a new level of stability. I feel like the way you're going into 2024, Pisces, is going to be so different here. It's so freaking different. Let's see. Wow. Ten of knives. Yeah. The Empress and the Ten of Coins. Listen, what is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. We got the Eight of Baskets and then we got the Five of Coins in reverse. So you could be doing something that's bringing you in more money now, or you could be finally starting that project you've always wanted to start. It seems to be something beauty wise or tattoo, something about like that was, that was very like unconventional for you or something that you never thought that you would be doing. It seems like it, your, your life is going to be taking a different path. I think you're okay too if no one recognizes what you're doing at the moment right now but because it's not about that this is about you definitely receiving what's yours and putting in the work to get what it is that you want out of life so let's see what else yeah the tower in reverse yeah listen I feel like you definitely escaped that abrupt change or it's like you've definitely put a wrench in whoever like the partner or the job or the whatever people who were used to you being a certain way it's like you put a you threw a wrench in that and it seems to be like ca causing some sort of like disturbance amongst everybody because they're expecting you to like always be there for them and kind of forget about yourself but you're not you're like no I'm not forgetting about myself I know what I want yeah you're very direct now so with this ace of swords you're very direct and with the mother of wands you're showing up differently you could be looking differently too and even if it's not physically it's just a different glow about you that you're going to be showing up differently and people are going to have no choice but to respect you and look at you differently yeah three of wands here like people could be no thinking like oh my gosh well, what is Pisces doing like like observing you observing you in this new confidence ten of baskets the two of wands in reverse yeah you've made your decision and with the two the ten of wands yeah you decided to leave a lot a lot behind so you could be moving I'm hearing humble beginnings you could be starting over by yourself without um, money or without something that could be that you used to have like support from that person but it's like now you're like I don't even want it anymore because you know if that means that you're going to be able to dictate how I'm doing things so it just seems as if you're like choosing yourself and like you're betting on yourself and the options are going to come anything else yeah you're not playing second best anymore. Lovers in the reverse, the moon card, the chariot. Wow, Pisces. I love this for you. Nine of knives. Of course, they're going to be looking. Of course, they're going to be wanting you back. Of course, they're going to be trying. But look, I think you're just so adamant. I'm getting adamant on really putting yourself in a position for you. 
Mother of Knives, Temperance card. Yeah, it's like you're really, something about like you're going to be moving around traveling next year a lot too. Like I'm seeing planes, I'm hearing like international travel. You could be starting a blog on that and it could be something that turns into something amazing. So it's something that you, you know, you're going to see the world. You're manifesting this though with the Magician card and the Strength card. So yeah, you're definitely stepping it up in your life. Two of Wands, I mean, Two of Knives, the World card, and the Nine of Coins. Yeah, so there's some sort of like abundance that's heading your way that's just for you, is what I'm hearing. Just for you. And fast, too. And fast, too. Once you really make this decision and stand on business, because I definitely hear you standing on business out here. So, <laughs> yes. It's putting you in a kind of like a masculine position in a way of like, I'm getting stuff done. Like, I got to get moving. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. So we're just going to like move and I'm just going to get moving. So it just really seems as if you're like really listening to your intuition and being led. And so I do feel like you'll finally start to get that recognition with the six of wands here. You start to get that recognition that you've been wanting and looking and hoping for. And then the high priestess here. By, because you listen to your intuition and you trust it in yourself, like you really had a sit down with yourself and was like, look, I love you, but what are we doing? And we need to make peace with whatever happened in the past. If we allowed ourselves to be used, if we didn't show up for ourselves when we needed to show up for ourselves, but now we're not doing that no more. We need to figure out what we're doing because we want freedom. Mm -hmm. So it just seems as if you like really chose yourself this month and it just seems to set you off on a new path. All right. So Pisces, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.